Okay, this is the vacuum forming plate that I designed. I designed this for making dental retainers, so the depth is kind of shallow because I made it specifically for teeth. But this can be used for a lot of different uh, forming needs. Uh, what I did is I took this plate right here, steel, I drilled a hole in it, put a brass fitting for the vacuum line, just welded on a, a half inch uh, steel bar, actually a square stock all around the edges. I put a thin film of silicone. I smeared it, uh, smoothed it out nice and flat so this material here, they get one out, this acrylic which has blue plastic over it right now, when you lay it on there it makes a good positive seal all the way around with that silicone rubber and the matching ring also has the same thing which will go like that now what I'll do is I'll demonstrate. Now you need this this uh, drywall sanding screen right here because without that what will happen as, the, as you heat this acrylic up and then you throw on the vacuum pump when this draws down if you don't have this uh, screening here to distribute the air, the uh, vacuum flow the plastic will make contact with this hole where the uh, vacuum is drawn from and it'll seal it and then you won't get the vacuum going so you definitely need this screening here and I'm going to demonstrate right now on something small just pull this off right here okay like that see it's very clear I think this is 040 plastic alright we're going to just try it out with this bearing just to demonstrate let's place it in the middle line up the cover over it make sure the seals clean take this center it exactly over it like that take the clamps make sure they're secure on each corner the way I have it and put this here okay now I'm gonna heat this up with the heat gun you want to heat it just enough that this plastic becomes very flexible but if you continue to heat it and overheat it what will happen the acrylic will start to bubble and then it's it's pretty much ruined so just keep an eye on it when you see it's really flexible then you just keep the heat on it but further away and then you throw on the vacuum pump and it should be good to go there we go <coughs> even heating See it's sitting, starting to get flexible right now. See it? If you did it now, it wouldn't be good. It wouldn't form fully. So you really want to get it soft without overdoing it. See, now it's getting really, really plasticky. Keep going, keep going, keep it going. Very soft now. A little more and we should have it. Almost. There we go. Push that in. <clears throat> Pull tight. Now, this is very, very close along the bottom, but if I wanted to get it better, I could actually hold this there to protect this from getting hit and go like this. Just a little bit. You don't want to do it too much to make a hole. See, that pulls it in much closer now. You can see that. And here a little bit. That's pretty damn good right there. That's how it works. Now you can use this for a lot of different things. You can make um, molds and pour JB Weld into these when you're finished. All you'd have to do is make a mold like this, get a razor, make a little slit, and after you make the slit, just open it up and drop that piece out, or maybe it'll pop out on its own, and just tape the slit back, and then you can pour whatever resin or epoxy you want inside of this. It's 
really handy thing, but like I said, I made it for retainers, not for this, but works good. Just shut this off. Open this. You can see the bottom, how nice it left it when it made contact with the sanding screen, the drywall sanding screen. I'm going to lift this off. There. And there it is. See how flat that is? And this is how I mold my dental retainers. This vacuum forming plate that I made comes in extremely handy for a lot of different purposes besides just making retainers like this. You can pretty much form anything you want. Quality set of fangs.